Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Tiki, and in this video we're going to learn how to install and run Bulk Bing Image Downloader Python script. So if you go to bing.com and type, for example, healing art or anything else you want, go to images, and uh, you'll see all these images here, and that's what we're going to be able to download. We're also going to be able to specify any kind of settings, set the size of the image, the color, the type of the image, layout, and any uh, and apply. We're going to be able to apply any other filters and then use these filters in our script so that we can download specific type of images that we want. All right, so let's go ahead and go to github.com and in the search box, go ahead and type bulk Bing image downloader. And uh, this is the one that you want to get in the first search result. So we can either just download the zip version or we can clone the um, or we can clone the URL. So that's what we're going to be doing. Let's go ahead and copy this URL. And then we're going to go ahead and open Clever take your workspace in Visual Studio Code. And then let's go ahead and open the Git folder. Here you can also look at the Git cheat sheet. And these are the only two commands that we're going to be using, git init and git clone URL. So let's go ahead and open up the terminal and then navigate to the git directory. Now first what we want to do is initialize git with git init. Once git has been initialized, we want to type git clone and then paste that URL that we copied from GitHub here. Then just press enter. And then we'll go ahead and clone bulk Bing image downloader into our folder. And uh, you should see the script um, showing up here in your Git folder under bulk Bing image downloader. So as you can see, this is a Python script with the extension py. So we're going to need to install Python on Windows before we can run the script. So let's go ahead and go to Google and just type Python for Windows. Click on the first result. And then let's just go ahead and get the latest Python release, which is which is Python 3.8.2. And then let's scroll down and you want to get the Windows executable installer. Just go ahead and download that. Then once the download finishes, open the file, run the script, run the installer, and then just install now. All right, so now we, that we have installed Python, we're ready to run the script. So let's go ahead and close this, minimize this, and now let's go ahead and copy the directory by right-clicking on it and selecting Copy Path. And then we're going to go ahead and run the command prompt and navigate inside of that directory. And so the script is called bbid.py. So that's what we want to type. And um, if you have these uh, usage options showing up, that means the script is working and we're ready to use it. So as you can see here in the options, we have a dash s, which is a search string. And we can also use dash o, which is an output. And that's going to be the folder where we want to output our images. So let's go ahead and test this out by typing bbid.py, which is a script name. And then s, oops, OK, so bbid.py dash s healing art and then the output folder, let's name it healing art. And press enter and see what happens. All right, so the script is working and it's downloading all those healing art images, hopefully inside of the healing art folder. So let's go ahead and see. Now we have a healing art folder here showing up and 
all the images are being downloaded inside of this folder. So we can right click on this folder and click on Reveal in Explorer. And um, there you go. It's showing up all those healing art images. And it's continuing to download them. Now, another really cool thing about the script is we can actually use the uh, all those filters, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. So, and this is the way that we would apply those filters. So we can use filters. And then we want to use plus filter UI inside of this URL here. So as you can see, once we apply the filters, Bing is showing up <clears throat> plus filter UI. And that is the URL that we want to copy and use inside of our filters option. So let's go ahead and try this out here. Uh, just make sure you copy the whole thing, including plus filter UI. And that's going to be all the filters, including the size, the color, the type, and all the other filters. So let's go ahead and reopen the command prompt. Type bbid py s dash s healing art. And for the output folder, I'm going to go ahead and use teal healing art because the color that I selected is teal. And then let's go back here, dash dash filters. And then go ahead and paste that uh, filter URL here. Press enter. Now all the images that the script is going to be downloading this time is going to be wide, um, large in size, and um, color teal, which is um, <clears throat> what I have selected here, teal, large, and wide. So let's go back and open the Bing image downloader folder. You can see that as a teal healing art folder as well. And now all the images are large, teal, and wide as well. So that is a really cool and fast way to download a lot of images to your computer. You can play around with the filters, uh, <clears throat> select different colors, different image sizes. You can even select the type. Uh, if you want a photograph or clip art, square or wide or tall, you can include uh, people's faces, the date. So there's a lot of great filters to play around with. And of course, the search string, uh, there's infinite possibilities of what kind of images you're going to be able to download. All right, so I hope you guys like this video. That is how you install Bulk Image Downloader Python script. Let's go ahead and play around with this. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.